Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of My Cousin Rachel. This was one of those screenings in which I didn't know much about the film heading into said viewing. So I avoided trailers. I decided not to look too far into it. I just kind of knew it was about a crazy cousin named Rachel. And this movie is definitely a surprising and shocking film, but overall, a very entertaining and good time. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives in the movie. First of all, the acting performances are really, really strong. Sam Claflin plays our lead character, and he was really fantastic. I thought he just excelled in this role. He was extremely magnetic. He just drew you into his performance, completely believable as this character. Great job from Claflin. I also thought Rachel Weitz was really strong. She kept you like on your toes. She had that really nice, really open charm about her, but it always felt like there was a layer underneath what was going on here with Rachel the character. So wonderful job from her as well as everybody in the background cast. I think everybody just played their role, played it well. I also love that this movie keeps you guessing the entire time. Like you're never able to quite nail down what is about to happen. And when you think you have yourself on the right path, it kind of sends you into swerve. And then the ending just blows it all open and leaves everything up for discussion. And a lot of times I do really enjoy those type of endings. And I think it worked really, really well here. And I also think the pacing in this movie is really strong. So this is a period peace, drama, romance, mystery, and it would have been really easy for this to feel like a long, drawn out film, but I think it just, it moves along because you are very interested in the characters and you're very interested in what happens to them and what's happening in general. So I never felt bored. I never had like a lapse in interest in what I was watching. And the movie overall is pretty short for a film like this. So it all just works in the film's favor. It's not bloated, it's edited well, and it just moves along at a great pace and keeps you entertained the full runtime. So now I want to discuss the characters, which are a positive and a negative, and that's going to kind of lead us into the next segment. But the characters in this film are really complex. They're not just good and bad. Everybody has a mixture of like good qualities and bad qualities and it's kind of figuring out that balance and then deciding which way this character is going to flip or flop or if they're just that kind of complex, normal, actual human character. But I will say that definitely gets in the way of rooting for one of our main characters. So Sam Claflin is kind of set up as the protagonist in the situation throughout the film. But the character's kind of rude and kind of a douchebag to a lot of people and says a lot of off-the-wall, not-so-nice things to people. And even the way he behaves and kind of like acts toward the manservant and stuff, it just was off-putting. So I wasn't completely rooting for him. And then Rachel Weitz was much more open, much more caring, much nicer. But again, like I said, you could always feel an undertone of some sort of deception going on here or something happening under the surface with her character. So you didn't really root for her either. Plus, Sam's character is just so naive. He lives in this place where women weren't allowed, so he has no experience with women. And he just, I mean, goes way overboard to the point where you're like rolling your eyes and you're kind of like, oh my gosh, you're taking nobody's advice and you're so dumb that I guess you're going to get what's coming to you. Here's a, here's a life lesson for you, buddy. So it was hard to pinpoint who am I rooting for? Who do I like in this film? Who do I want to see succeed? And also, while I mentioned I thought the editing and pacing in this film were really strong, I wish maybe more actual events had taken place. So they kind of just left the clues as we went along in the day-to-day -day type of things. Or we had actual social events in the characters' lives, but we didn't really have things that came out to give us clues or came out to really give us something to hold on to. So I think maybe if you don't get hooked into the story early on, they don't have enough stuff to grab you and pull you back in to a story you have already wandered away from. Once you're gone, 
you're gone. And I think that's definitely a negative when you're supposed to have people trying to solve the mystery or solve what's happening here. You need more of those big moments, more of those flashy type things to keep everybody like coming back for more. And I also mentioned that personally, I really enjoyed that ending. It made me think, it left me questioning, it left me just trying to solve everything I had just seen. But the ending is super ambiguous. It doesn't really answer questions. It only poses more questions. And once you're thinking back on it, you're really like dissecting it. And I need to watch this film again, but I'm not sure it all holds up. I'm not sure it all quite makes sense. Overall, it seems to kind of make sense, but this is one I definitely need that second viewing to go back, backtrack, and make sure the movie covered all of its bases because I'm not convinced after the first viewing. But overall, I think that My Cousin Rachel is a really, really solid film. It is shot gorgeously. It looks beautiful. It has that lovely period piece feeling to it, and I really liked this film. So I definitely think it is worth seeking out once it opens at a theater near you. I don't think this movie is going to be for everyone, certainly, but I think it's definitely good enough quality to give a matinee. But there's also nothing in here really warranting a theater experience. So if you don't feel up to going and seeing it at a matinee, at least give it a shot when it comes out for rental. So that has been my review of My Cousin Rachel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited for My Cousin Rachel? Have you even heard of it? If you have, what are your thoughts heading in? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.